so at this point, we have finished entering all the content for our presentation. Now we can work on the appearance. So you were asked to either use a design theme or use a background color or use a background photo. I recommend that you use a design theme. A design theme is simply a package of background elements, fonts, colors, bullet point styles that will format all of your slides in a consistent way. And uh, that also saves you a lot of work. Instead of formatting each slide separately, you can just have a unified look for your whole presentation. So where can we find the themes, the design themes? You click on this design tab and you will see here themes. And if you click this downward arrow, you'll see these are the built-in themes that come with PowerPoint. Just point over the images. It will give you a preview of what your title slide will look like if you were to click on this um, theme. So that's all well and good, but sometimes you don't really want to use the themes that are included with PowerPoint. You may have downloaded a theme that you like from the internet and saved it on your hard disk. So if you did that, you can browse for the theme right, and zip all the files that I downloaded from Seoul. And you'll see that I have a file there called Session 2 Cloud Computing Lab. But the file extension is THMX, which is a Microsoft Office theme. I'll click the theme and apply. Apply it. OK, so now a consistent appearance together with some background elements like this uh, gray area here has been applied to all my slides. And, you know, the look is immediately changed. You still have to go over the entire presentation to make sure that everything looks fine. Uh, this star is a bit running into the top bar, so I may need to rearrange it a bit. Okay, but so far everything looks good. Okay, this is my uh, okay, my table. Okay, here are my conclusions, which I didn't finish typing, and that's why there's only that one. Okay, now this one was kind of like changed by the theme. You still have to do some uh, tweaking here. This right hand side was just resized by the theme because themes can also control the placement of items. So sometimes it may have moved things around. So you can just move it back to what it should be. Okay, so this looks a bit, this looks pretty even. Okay. Now the theme did not affect this slide, which is great because I wanted to keep this background photo. And here are my references. Again, I didn't finish typing it, so that's why it's incomplete. So that's applying the theme. Now, in my model answer, my title slide comes with this picture. If you want to do the same thing, how did I put the picture here? You'll see that there's no way for me to insert a picture right here. And uh, even if I were to insert a picture, I want the picture to be confined within this area. So how to do that is you go to layout. Okay, now the design theme comes with a layout called title slide with picture. This is provided by the theme. So I click this layout and now you'll see I can click here to add a picture. And I can choose this picture, insert. Okay, and it's now inserting it, and it's only within this boundary. So that's, that's perfect for me. And so using a design theme, we were quickly able to format all of our slides with a unified appearance. Okay, this also doesn't look good. I had to fix this. Okay, I may have to move this around and do it like this. 
Okay, so it's normal for some of your slides to have the elements rearranged. You just have to go over each one to make sure nothing has been shifted. Okay, this is fine. This looks fine. This all looks fine. Okay, so we have successfully applied our design theme and checked that all slides look okay. And uh, now you can go ahead and build your own version of this presentation for your individual assignment. And I look forward to seeing all your work.